what Jim's showing here is it, it is actually a true volume. There's no sprites, there's no layered quads, there's no CE particle. It's a it's a true volume-based solution. It's emitting light, as you can see. It's shown. Um, it interacts with geometry. It's actually a simulation. So the fire you know, flows around the sphere and um, kind of behaves the way you think it behaves. It's the same type of effect and technique that they use in the film industry for doing things like smoke and fire. This is not like a demo we set out to build. This is something that's enabled by the Flex technology that allows people to be creative with it. We just tried this out, and it turns out, and you know what, you can do that. You can actually have a semi rigid body with cloth and with tearing and with fluid interaction and with pressure all just work. And you can make water balloons. It all just kind of works. These are really right. complex problems, and having a, 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 some core fundamental technology that can allow this level of cross-simulation interplay and this level of realism is just it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. So I can't wait to see what folks are going to do with this next year. Pretty awesome. So this is Flex. This is one of the first technologies we're announcing. Again, coming to PhysX uh, next year.